Welcome to day 11 of Mindfulness Toward Successful Living. I trust you enjoyed that last exercise, yesterday's session. That deep relaxation session is one that I just love, and I hope that you got the same benefit, a benefit of peaceful relaxation, a benefit of understanding the real power of what true visualization can do. And we're going to get into that more as the course continues and really hone our skills in guided imagery and visualization so that we can use these skills to become better, to increase our own personal awesomeness, if you will. Let's take a deep breath in. Get comfortable, get seated. And let's focus on the breath. And as we're just starting to release our body, release our mind into some calm focus, I'd like you to consider the feelings that you may carry in regards to a person that you feel may have wronged you in some way. And I would like to pose this thought as you continue to breathe gently. Let your awareness be on the sensations that you're observing in this moment. And think about this for a second. In order to be considered being wronged, it's really nothing unless we keep living, remembering the wronged. Because as we have already clearly observed in our practice, thoughts just sometimes come and go. And so the only way that we can keep something alive that is negative or that's keeping us down or that's consuming our, our emotions is by continuing to live it through remembering it. And I'd like you to ponder that thought. It's a very powerful experience when you become aware that we determine the value of what things mean to us. Things that either happen to us in our experience, as well as the things that we think happened to us in our experience, as well as the things that we also think will happen to us in our experience. We hold incredible power over the outcome of each of those areas based on what we are going to allow it to mean. So today, I'd like us really to consider a presupposition, and the presupposition is simply this. People do the best they can with what they have. And if we can really buy into that, it becomes a powerful paradigm shift. I call it perspective shifting. Now, that doesn't mean that what people do is what you would necessarily do or even necessarily want them to do. But at the core, maybe we can be in agreement that people do the best they can with what they have. And most people do things to try to benefit themselves in one way or the other or think that it's going to bring a benefit so it's not with malice necessarily and this is an NLP strategy and it's a core foundational strategy and it's simply called the map is not the territory and what that means is we all sometimes make up our own maps of our worlds based on where we came from who raised us, 
what country we popped out on this earth, what the social dynamics of that thing was, that area, region, the family that we were raised with. We don't choose any of these things. But all of those things do create references for us. And based on those references, then we do the best we can with what we've experienced, with what we have at that point. Part of this mindfulness training is to expand the what we have part. It's to expand our emotional intelligence. It's to expand our emotional flexibility. It's to expand the ability to not be reactive to emotions. So if we may have been wronged in the past, we can also very quickly, easily determine that it didn't mean anything. And we don't have to hold on to it. And by doing so, as you've already experienced in this course, then it means nothing. We can let it go as easily as a fleeting thought that comes and goes. Or a distractive thought during our med mindfulness meditation practice when that distraction thought comes in. We can just observe it and let it go. So today I'd like to practice loving kindness and let's revisit that. And whoever this person is that you thought of right away when I had mentioned it, let's practice loving kindness towards that person. We don't expect any outcome. We're not doing this for them. We're doing this for us. We're doing this to train our brains, to give us more choices in how we behave, in how we respond, in how we observe the world. Because each one of us has a different map. And the mistake that some make is we create our maps of the world and we even sometimes think that they're real. When in reality, potentially, they're just real to us. <laughs> Because everybody comes from a different space. Everybody's experience is completely different. And it's okay. So, let's practice loving kindness and focus it towards that person or that group of somebodies that may have wronged you in the past. And let's wish for them well-being. I wish for you to be at peace. I wish for you to have no suffering. And repeat these with me in your mind as we say them with your intent and focus towards this person. I wish for you to feel loved. I wish for you to feel kindness. And if you can put a smile on your face as we're doing this mental exercise, that's a good thing. A loving smile, gentle. We're not looking for an outcome. We're not even having to address forgiveness or any of those things because it's not really about that. We are simply going to be and put ourselves in a space to come from being wanting the best for their well-being and goodwill towards that person for no other reason than because we can. May you be calm. May you be peaceful. May you be happy. May you be loved. May you be grateful. May you be kind. May you be free from suffering. May you experience good in the world. 
May you contribute good in the world. May you be peaceful. May you be kind. May you be loved and loving. May you be gentle. May you be free from suffering. May you be well. And now for the last couple of minutes of this session, let us turn our loving kindness towards ourself. Focus on the sensation of your breath. Do a body scan and focus on any sensations of feelings in your body. And let's hone in our attention. Whether you imagine it in your mind as you're observing your heart in the center area of your being, or whether you visualize yourself in the first person from the associated position, which could be right from looking out from your body, or a dissociated position where you are seeing yourself as though you're looking at you, kind of like what you would do in a mirror. Put a smile on your face. Look deep into your eyes or look deep into your heart. And let's, for the goodness of goodwill and loving kindness towards us, let's wish for these things for us. May I be loved. May I be cherished. May I be grateful. May I be kind. May I be free from suffering. May I receive goodwill from others. May I contribute goodwill towards others. May I be happy. May I experience joy. May I be peaceful. May I be kind. May I be gentle and loving. May I receive love and kindness from others. May I be free from suffering. May I be strong in mind. May I be wise. May I be compassionate. And may I be more simply awesome. Thank you for your diligence and practice. You are doing fabulously and I hope that you will be in a position where you can implement these special exercises as you need them throughout your day of course becoming mindful in short segments and short moments just to hone your focus back into the present and also using these exercises as you need to when they're applicable 
to start implementing them in your life. And I'll see you here tomorrow for day 12 of Mindfulness Towards Successful Living.